On the count of three, I'd like all of us to take a deep, cleansing breath. One, two, I'm not kidding, three. Now what we've all just done is bathed our lungs in air. Air that contains 21% oxygen. Oxygen, which is absolutely vital for the survival of every single cell in our bodies. But how much oxygen do our bodies really need? By the time that air reaches our lungs, the oxygen concentration has dropped to around 15%. In our blood, it's down to 10. In our livers, we're down to 5. Now, this continues until individual cells in our bodies only experience around 1% oxygen. Now, when scientists around the world grow their cells, they do so in air, which contains 21% oxygen. Even though our neurons, heart cells, liver cells never experience anything even remotely close to 21% oxygen in our bodies. Now, surely that can't be good for the cells. And that's where I come in. Now, my research looks at the impacts of high and low oxygen on human embryonic stem cells. Now, stem cells possess amazing therapeutic potential, as they can give rise to all the different cell types in our adult human bodies, which means we can potentially generate new neurons for people suffering from Parkinson's disease. We can fix the cornea of people going blind, or even repair damaged hearts. For somebody suffering from spinal cord injury, Stem cell therapies mean that the dream of being able to walk again suddenly becomes a very real possibility. Now, we scientists spend massive amounts of money on lab equipment, growth factors, culture media, all in an attempt to make our cells as happy as possible. But do we pay any attention to the oxygen concentration? Turns out, stem cells do. My research shows that the amount of oxygen in the environment directly impacts the metabolism of stem cells which is the balance of carbohydrates, amino acids, and energy within the cell. Oxygen also affects the ability of a stem cell to give rise to other cell types, such as a neuron or a heart cell. The good news is that by culturing stem cells at the correct oxygen concentration, we come that much closer to realizing their amazing therapeutic potential. Now let's all take that deep cleansing breath just one more time. One, two. Try to visualize the oxygen flowing through our bodies, going from 21 all the way down to 1%. Now, in order to turn stem cells into safe and viable neurons, heart cells, or cornea for transplants, we need to remember, while you and I may like our oxygen at 21%, our cells do not. Thank you. <laughs>